You're watching Jake and Amir. Are you talking to me? That impression. It was fine. How was your break? It was really nice, actually. Yeah? Are you just saying that to make me jealous? Because it's working. I'm just saying it was nice to see my family. It was fun to hang out with my friends from high school. Yeah, I wasn't home for but two minutes before the old man offers me a grilled jizz sandwich. Curious, I say yes, and he chucks a cast iron skillet at the back of my face. The back of your face? The back of my frickin' face, yeah. Hit me square and crack goes my weasel. Hey, don't ruin my day with this sad, sad story. Uncross the eyes, there it is. So I say, no, not this year, not again, I'm better than this, and I book it like a librarian as my dad threatens to move. Only problem is, uh-oh, mommy's lying supine underneath my back tires, threatening to sue me if I run over her head like a freaking coconut. Jesus Christ. My Hanukkah wish didn't come true, because my old man is just pushing the hood of the car, begging to the only god he knows to run the bitch over, and I'm riding shotgun with my hand on the e-brake while the old maid is in the back, freaking planking underneath my back tires, kissing the pavement, begging me to fucking run her over too. I'm crying like a coward up there, right? Screaming, it's a setup, it's a setup. Why did you even go home? I was asking myself the same question when my dad popped a squad on the windshield of my rented Kia Sorento and tried to drop a deuce. Tried? Yeah, tried. Turns out he didn't have to go and the only thing that he could muster was a little bit of pee and a shark roughly the size of a dead tadpole. Looked like a mud-covered slug and stank like a pug. So I flip on the old windshield wipers, throw the Sorento into drive, and crash through my parents' garage. Flip a U-bang, and I start humming to myself, Silent night. Only problem is, I'm sad as hell. Yeah, I would be too. But I figure, hey, tis the season, and who doesn't love a second chance? So I swing by the mall and buy my dad a $2,000 watch. Yeah, a gold roly-poly for that Stop. oldie trolley. Oh no. Oh no is wrong. Yeah. Turns out gold isn't his color because when I get home, the entire house is gutted, empty, and there's a note on what's left of the door that says, Here died a happy family. R.I.P. Thanks to you, Amir. Can you believe that? Calling me out like that? Raw dogging me in front of my girl? So Oh No was right, by the way. And what girl? Oh, that's another thing. I brought home a Thai whore just to show my dad that I had a mate in life. Why do you want his affection? It sounds like he's a terrible person. He means well. No, he doesn't. How could he possibly mean well? How's this for a happy ending? New Year's Eve Eve, December 39th. Wrong. I get a call from a jail in Fresno saying that they locked up my old man and threw away the key. I'm alone, not doing anything anyway, so I toss on a wig and hoof it down to the no to bail his ass out. He pretends he doesn't even recognize me. His only daughter. You haven't been right about any of the things you said in well, ever. I spent another 15k trying to bail him out of that Alabama slam, and he tells the bailiff that he'd rather rot in hell than owe that son of a bitch coward me a frickin' dime. You wanna know the icing on the cake? Not really. Me and my dad made up, and he's coming to live with me in NYC. The big crapple. That sounds like the worst idea ever. I thought so too, but he promised to make me a grilled jizz on day one. Isn't that just when he knocks you out with a cast, cast iron skillet? Yeah, right to the back of my frickin' face. But at least I have a dad. I have a dad. I'm talking about Pat. You monster!